Hello there. For some parts of the UK, there is a big change on the way weather-wise, particularly in the south, where on Thursday we saw a lot of sunshine. Temperatures in London got above 26 Celsius. But we're watching this area of low pressure swirling up from the south, increasingly bringing some showers and thunderstorms over the next few days. And the rainfall is really going to accumulate some spots could be looking at around a month's worth of rain from these intense downpours and thunderstorms. However, only really in the south. Further north, it remains largely dry. The best of the sunshine across northwest England, Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, Eastern Scotland, Northeast England, likely to be plagued by a lot of cloud, which will make it feel rather cool. And actually that cloud has been rolling its way a long way inland taking its time to burn back towards the east coast through the day on Friday, but it should do, staying quite murky though for parts of eastern Scotland, northeast England, and then down towards the south of England, perhaps into the Midlands, Wales, we will see some of these showers and thunderstorms popping up, some of which will give a lot of rain in a short space of time. 23 degrees in London, just 15 if the cloud lingers there in Aberdeen. And as we go through Friday night, that cloud again rolls a little bit further inland. Still the chance for some showers and thunderstorms rumbling around across the Channel Islands, getting back into southern counties of England. A mild night for just about all of us. A mild start to the weekend. And again on Saturday, down towards the south, we'll see these showers and thunderstorms across southern counties of England, into East Anglia, the Midlands, parts of Wales. But for Northern England, Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, we'll see some sunshine. Eastern Scotland, Northeast England, still plagued by that cloud. Perhaps the odd spot of drizzle could be quite misty and murky around some of the coast. And temperatures, if anything, coming down a little bit from where they have been. And then into Sunday, it looks like we'll see some slightly more persistent heavy thundery rain, again affecting southern parts of the UK, East Anglia, uh, the Midlands, Wales, further north from there, largely dry, best of the sunshine in the northwest, more cloud into the northeast. So the pattern continues. But a change in the weather pattern next week does turn really quite unsettled. Showers or longer spells of rain could be quite windy and it turns quite a lot colder as well.